Jeremy Johnson QC or now Casey's um, representation for Lord Hangfield. No, here it says, look, it, it put the House of Lords authorities. Um, the House have not sought and do not seek to intervene in these proceedings. <laughs> so, what are you doing writing to them then? <laughs> so, what, what, what are they doing sending the email in then? Um, do you know? The, 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 apparently, this was emailed in at the last minute, right? It, it's a letter, right, that is it, is t t telling the court, right, um, how how to or not to do its job, right? It says that it's illegal to write letters to the court, um, telling it how it shouldn't shouldn't serve justice or whatever, unless you're making a representation and you're putting forward um, a, a claim or a representation, like sort of it as part of a case, right? Sort of. Um, so you're trying to prove something. You're you're putting down facts and evidence in front of the court, and and then they're going to decide on it, right? You, you're proposing it, but this, right? It, it, it's it is it, it it's actually writing a letter to, to courts telling them how to how how not to do justice or whatever. But he's claiming that it's not seeking to intervene. But that that's wrong, logically flawed, because a, an email, a, a message, email or letter sent um, and received by something and then served. Right? What happens when Alistair McReef receives this message from the clerk? message for Alistair McReef, right? At that point, in the English dictionary and in logic, what is that act? Someone is participating in proceedings, right? And then a document comes in. I mean, if that's not interpreted as an intervention, um, you could use many words, intersection, um, uh, addition, um, submission, whatever, but it, it, it what that the, they are going on with things that have already been submitted beforehand and prepared, right? If someone knocks on the door, right, that's an intervention and says, Excuse me, and where's the toilet? They, they've intervened to ask someone where the toilet is, right? People can walk into the room and spectate, they come in and be quiet and sit down. That's not an intervention. If you go into a court as a spectator and go in, quietly enter the room and sit down and simply sit there and observe, um, you have simply entered proceedings, right? Um, you, you, if someone comes up to the solicitor and, and gives the hands them a document, right, and they've added something in, but they, they have to interrupt. I think that's the word, interrupt, right? An interruption. You can interrupt to lay or add something, but it still will need to be an interruption. So, um, the House authorities have not sought and do not seek to intervene. Well, they interrupted, that's for sure. They interrupted. Um, well, well an, an intervention. The thing is, if proceedings would have continued to proceed and progress without this document appearing, right, you could say proceedings proceeded without inter intervention or interruption, right? Even if someone lays a document and adds a document, slips a document in and into the proceedings, it, it entered the proceedings. It was received into proceedings, Um what what do they call an injunction? Is isn't that an injunction of a document? Isn't it an in, injunction of a document? At, at the end of the day, if the proceedings didn't proceed and progress as already pre-planned on paper and documents, and something else entered from outside, surely that is an intervention, like divine intervention. You know, it has to be. I found the statute law that says that writing letters to courts telling them how they should or shouldn't do or, or, or proceed or how they shouldn't proceed. But th this is saying that they're not seeking, they're not seeking to intervene, but it's intervening. <laughs> you can't throw, 
You you can't throw a paper aeroplane into a football match and hit someone on the side of the head in the football field and say that that didn't intervene on this on the written on the paper aeroplane. If you start a football match, right, and you write down on a bit of paper, oh, I do not wish to intervene in this game, right, okay, and then you fold it into a paper aeroplane, and then someone in the stadium throws it. I've actually seen this on TV. I've got this idea. This is actually something that happened, right? And someone throws it into the football match, and it hits uh, one of the players in the side of the head, and then they, they, they turn away, and then they're like, oh, what the hell's that? And it distracts them, and the ball comes past, and they miss the ball, and they could have scored a goal, right? And they, they, they grab the bit of paper and go, what the hell's this? And then read it, and it says on it, my name is Jeremy Johnson, KC. Uh, now, we know that, I do not wish to intervene in this football match. <laughs> But he's a letter anyway. <laughs> you know, um, it's some of these people, right? They sort of defy, they defy the logic. It defies human logic. It's like um, you know, logic within logic. It, it, it's it shows a kind of. Um, shallowness or a sort of you know they, they might have lots of memory and technical knowledge they might know more words than someone else or more terms or more phrases but they clearly don't reflect um, and have a deep understanding of actually what they're doing and then they claim they're not doing something when they are you know um and the thing with this document is, I found out now that I mean it's going on about you can you can go into the riddles of this all you want. I mean, there's a lot of it's only six pages, but there's a lot of jargon in it about um, there's a lot of etiquette and persuasion in you know um, is is not is not is not it is not it is it is not it is it is not you know about what is or is not brought under the remit or jurisdiction of the House of Lords or may or may not or could or could not in the future or might or might not, etc, etc, etc. But uh, Johnson, I don't think he, he's trying to... He's coming across with this language that is like... Um, I guess this is why they're meant to be a silk, smooth, like silk cut, you know. Oh, you know... Um, we do not seek to intervene, but I am intervening. <laughs> I don't seek to intervene, but actually, um, it can you know, it, it, it's an intervention, but we're not seeking to intervene, you know. We didn't seek to. Well, why did you look up the email address of the court then? Were you seeking the email address of the court at the time? I sought the email address of the court. Did you seek to attach a letter to it? And did you seek to send it to the court? Right? You know? Um, like, you know, Judicial Complaints Office is, um, you know, th that's a, a resolution and complaints about afterwards, you know, um, if you've got a complaint about something, it's not actually necessarily writing to, to the actual court, it's actually someone who's meant to investigate in courts, there's a special dedicated department, um, obviously you can complain, you've got the right to complain about something, but... I think that they distinguish the difference kind of like, sort of like, if you haven't even a complaint, you're, you're raising a matter. I think there's a distinction between telling a court what it can and can't or should or should not do, but then claiming you're not doing, but when you are. But th this, whole doc this whole representation... It's not accounting for the Charter of Liberties, which is really important because it says that all the barons and lords will actually be accountable for their crimes. And that's even before Magna Carta saying that barons and lords can be judged by their equals. And and even if you remove that Magna Carta clause that barons and lords can be judged by their equals, then um, it, it doesn't reserve it for Parliament in a way. And then the only real main sort of 
legislation or statute law underlying kind of like you know charter or principles is, is, is that that Johnson raises in this document is the uh, illegal prosecutions clause in the 1688 Bill of Rights, which says that um, you know illegal prosecutions from as decidable debate will in Parliament. Now, th that is actually the, the decisions of government and the casework of government, right? But I'm starting to think that a crime's a crime. Now, they're prosecuting us for crimes, right? They're prosecuting Extinction Rebellion, Just Stop Oil, Insulate Britain for political actions and matters that are uh, to Parliament. You don't have to be elected to engage in that. Um, and if they can prosecute everyone else and it not be brought under matters of Parliament, then how can they get away with Hanningfield? Um, it, it, it's... It's effectively the same situation, and they're not helping any of us out, and the Petitions Committee aren't helping any of us out. None of our actions are getting brought under Parliament. Um, they're saying they're not, or they're saying the crimes don't qualify to be brought under Parliament's casework. It's almost like saying that the police chasing a criminal um, it is is nothing to do with the the, 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 the the criminal charges or the case when it is, right? Um and the, the the thing is, there are there are there are certain things that you definitely need to do in order to bring a casework and perform it and carry it out, and, and a lot of those things are in, accounted for in the legislation. Um, and what when it is um an offence, a criminal offence, a misdemeanour, you can actually the, the misdemeanours are prosecutable. And I think that the election petition rules helps clarify this because it 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 sets out the principle that you, you've got to tell the truth. And you know, if you're being honest and telling the truth and pursuing something, then that is the correct way to do it. And there are certain things that you might need to do to achieve that goal, right? But and there then it it is requisite. I actually did a paper called the requisitions of petitioning. Now, if it were called the requisitions of the work of the House of Lords, it's not a requisition of the House of Lords to fiddle or cheat the expenses, right? Um, that's a, a lack of honesty, and, and it is fraud and a lie. So that is not... Um, it, it, it might be in connection with Parliament, but it's definitely not casework for Parliament. It's not the actual um, casework in the work. It, 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 it's it's a misdemeanor and it, 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 the thing is if you're chasing someone and you need to apprehend them right if you need to kick a door down right um you could you could what you could say well i will wait forever until they come back out again but you know you are pursuing that but it for the house of lords right um yeah, when when they're doing, you know, when, when they're getting paid and they're claiming their expenses and doing things like that, it, it is the work of the Lords, right? And even if Hanningfield, um, you know, was making some observations or doing an investigation for the Lords and had to um, get evidence and apprehend someone, I, w I would give him that. But when he's doing fiddling their expenses and, you know, doing things fraudulently, not honestly... Um, you see, the thing is, when you kick a door down, you're saying, you're declaring, I need to kick a door down, right? Because I'm pursuing a criminal, right? So even if Anningfield is doing some investigations on behalf of the House of Lords, and he says, I, Lord Anningfield, I'm pursuing, um, you know, an investigation on behalf of the House of Lords, I need to you know, open the door, I'm going to kick it down, right? You're declaring it. So you you're 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 making it's like at the airport, right? Have you got anything to declare? Right? Yeah, I'm pursuing a criminal and it's not door down. But when he's like saying he's doing some I'm I'm doing the work of the you know, these are my, you know, flats and houses and whatever, but he's lying about it and he's not saying what he's doing or, or whatever, that that's a misdemeanor. It, it it's it, it, he's not telling you what he's doing is he he's not making a declaration of what he's doing he's doing the opposite that falls into misdemeanors right now misdemeanors can be prosecuted against but the thing is i mean great 
it, it could or should be prosecuted in, in the House of Parliament or Lords. But the thing is, yeah, they, they actually can be prosecuted for misdemeanors in the court because the thing with the misdemeanor is you're only bringing evidence on a misdemeanor and establishing facts of a misdemeanor. Was there a misdemeanor happening? And what occurred in this misdemeanor? And and actually, how the privilege works is that um, they, they don't actually have to go to prison, according to the priv how the privilege works, right? And that's separate from being prosecuted, and 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 people can bring civil actions against them when they're not in session of parliament as well. Um, and it, it, the thing with the misdemeanor is is that. The, the decision on the misdemeanor, right, can it be dealt with in a court? Well, the thing is, if, if if the matter that's been decided in a court is whether the law should or should not be changed or the tax on tampons should or should not be changed, that, that's matters for Parliament, you know, and any evidence gathered to prove any doors kicked down or tills um, opened or whatever... But in the pursuit, actually, and declared honestly in the pursuit of that case to Parliament uh, through a committee, that is their business. But the thing is, when one once there is uh, a falsity or or in that process it is not done correctly or honestly, then it becomes a mis the misdemeanor is like something of its own. But it's only a misdemeanor. I mean, you, you can challenge... People can challenge police, actually. People can actually challenge police. But the thing with the police is it, it's under local jurisdictions and authorities. Their actual casework. But you can bring misdemeanors against them. But you're not going to bring misdemeanors against them in Parliament, no. Because the, the, the casework to Parliament is already of serious matters. And it also says that... Uh, you know, great officers for great offences are meant to be tried in Parliament anyway. I don't know what all this Supreme Court intervention is with Parliament and the making and changing of laws. That's messed it all up with Gordon Brown um, taking away the judicial authority of Parliament. That That's kind of given courts political power. Courts aren't meant to have political power. The, the problem is, right, all this Scottish business, all this Supreme Court overriding Parliament or making judgments on things Parliament haven't, haven't done... That's worse than Anningfield and this representation because um, what they're not doing, why are they saying to um, Southwark Crown Court, oh, we'll, we'll decide, you know, what is and is not under the um, jurisdiction of Parliament, but why aren't they saying that to the Supreme Court? Why aren't they doing the same thing to the Supreme Court? You know, uh, you know we'll decide what, 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 what matters Parliament can and can't judge. Right, uh, which is meant to be a part of the House of Lords. The Supreme Court re really it is kind of it's not meant to intervene in politics because that means, therefore, that the politicians that you elect aren't running the country. It means that you know this this Supreme Court is or, or can, which is a wrong. But um, I mean, as for this representation, got. Little notes and citations under here um, for this part. They're just notes. For this part, they're not just cite. I thought these were citations underneath of where he's got his reference material from, but they're, they're notes. For this part of the submission, the adjective parliamentary is deliberately omitted. Question of whether a partic particular activity it involves work is necessarily an anecdotal issue to whether it involves parliamentary work. Meaning of work. Does, well, the thing is, right, a misdemeanor is a misdemeanor, right? And an offence is an offence, right? Now, a police officer, is, is the kicking of a door down, right, is that, um, work or is it an offence? Well, it's offence for someone else. In those facts and circumstances, it it, it reasonable force. It, it it falls out of an effect of a misdemeanor. 
So it's not actually a, a misdemeanor in those circumstances, right? But Lord Hanningfield is always a misdemeanor if he doesn't tell the truth about his accounts and, and his houses and his, his financial affairs. It's always a misdemeanor. It's never no misdemeanor. Um, there's no legislation that says um, under certain circumstances and pursuing it through the app. You know, I think this is going to do it for me, right? Because it's like, you know, oh, it's House of Lords. I, I'm Lord Adonis. I'm on a train. I'm investigating, um, you know, pumping in calls or whatever, right? So, therefore, in order to achieve that, I need to falsify my accounts on the train. No, you don't need to falsify, unless, you know, unless um, he's undercover or something. But, you know, he, he, he's not undercover, is he? So, it, it, it's there isn't a provision in any legislation or law that says if Lord Anfield is, you know, rolling pumpernickels down the road in pursuit of criminals trying to knock them over with a bowling ball, uh, he's allowed to falsify his documents. Is there? No, there are no provisions in law. Now, the police only work in local commissions. Um, they've got certain legislation to work with. When you're petitioning Parliament in a casework, it says all prosecutions are illegal against you. It doesn't say whether or not you have to use reasonable force or not, or that there aren't any variables or even um, there aren't any negotiables. It's like all the prosecutions against you, through the courts at least, are illegal. Um, you know, so you're not meant to have any prosecutions through the courts. Uh, it's meant to be all dealt with in Parliament. And on for, for that matter, right, um, you can do it. But the thing is, uh, Johnson hasn't claimed the 1688 Bill of Rights right to petition for Hanningfield. He hasn't said, um, oh, Lord Hangfield, you know, is engaged in um, casework for Parliament, which is petitioning, and all prosecutions against him are illegal, right? Um, at all. Yeah, he didn't, say, he, he didn't say that. He said he, he's used that illegal prosecutions clause to do parliamentary work. But th th there's no work in Parliament which requires one to falsify accounts or documents or um, accounting for his various flats and houses and so forth. It's not part of the work, is it? It's not. It's a misdemeanor. So you you can't figure it in. And that I think that's the point that, that it falls on. It's actually what he's... It, 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 it's to do with um, the, the nature of what he's doing. I mean, it, it, this actually... If you look at the election petition rules, it says that, you know, you've got all these excuses and so forth. And it, but it says that you've got to... Um, all these matters need to be contemplated and looked at with great scrutiny um, and, and in great detail. I mean, look look at this Aidan um, Eadley guy. Oh, he's a very detailed silk with very complex, you know. Oh, but he apparently, you know, he, you know, um, what, what's he doing being appointed as a judge when he's still practicing as a solicitor, you know? Um, it, 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 this is detailed and technical. It, it's to do with... It, 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 there are there there are circumstantial and and dyn it, it's situational dynamics, and it, it's to do with applied logic and situational um, relevance and involvement in a subject matter, and, and and what is applicable and not applicable, and I think that it it, it in the police right. You've got clauses which say, right, this is illegal, but under certain circumstances, if there is good cause, if if it's like formula, if you know, blah blah blah, with reason, you you know, you use reason. Well, what is reasonable force? Well, that's reasonable, right? There's nothing reasonable, right? About see what 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 Johnson is actually trying to do in this paper is trying to make reasonable, you know, of what what does and. To, to, he's trying to reason, or he, he's trying to, he's trying to, he, he's trying to reason, but claim that he's not reasoning out of what does and does not fall under the jurisdiction of Parliament. But he's not intervening, and he's not even reasoning that. <laughs> I'm not reasoning of, of what does and does not fall into Parliament jurisdiction, or what may or may not at a future time. And this is not an intervention or representation at all whatsoever. 
you know, it's like standing on a stage and going, I'm not stood on a stage and I'm not speaking to you. Uh, but if I was, uh, I could reason with you or I may not reason with you in the future, you know. Um, it's all kind of like um, off, off the spot, you know. It, 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 it's, it, it's illogical. And maybe that is the job of a silk, but I thought a silk was supposed to cut to the fact, cut to the, the logic and the reason and the truth. Um, or maybe they're just trying to be persuasive, you know. Maybe they're they're supposed to like blindside everyone with riddles, you know. Um I I don't rate this paper anymore because it doesn't acknowledge the great charter of liberties, which actually is enforced through Magna Carta. That's um, an important one. And then there are other several statute laws that talk about prosecution, mainly to do with civil matters, to do with members of the public who have got grievances with the peers uh, when they're out of session of parliament and taking them to the courts, you know, in like financial disputes or civil disputes. That's like, you know, Andrew Bridge and MP and uh, Matt Hancock, which I was actually... I was opposed to that case. I said that case was wrong, um, you know, but it, it seems like they, they can do that, actually. So I, I was actually wrong about that. But I'm right, I think I'm right about this. Um, so he definitely doesn't... He, he hasn't included the Charter of Liberties part in, in, in... And that's important, actually. It's an important part of it. Um... I don't think there is anything in Parliament what could be what would require people to, um, you know, not tell the truth or commit fraud because you can't do the work then, surely, um, unless they're undercover. Um, you know, like I say, a lot of Donis is on a train, like in some sort of, you know, um, from Russia with love or something. And you know he he's he's doing some espionage work, um, posing as you know, um, you know the Duke of Buckingham or God knows what some pumping call, and then he's on a train and he's got pretend accounts and pretend um, papers because he's undercover and he made up a false um, character in order to you know trick um, Spectre or something like that. Then uh, he could uh, falsify documents and papers, but that would all be acknowledged by his headquarters or his um, liaison, whatever, um, who organised it, that, that these were, you know, for a reason, or it had a per served a purpose. I don't think it serves a purpose um, for the House of Lords, for him to have done... It, it's a misdemeanour. It, it doesn't... It, it's not a matter of whether it falls under parliamentary work or not. It's, it's, it's a matter of, is it permissible in any law anyway? Right? That's what it comes down to. Um, and for petitioning, you know, even Gail Bradbrook smashing a window, right? At least she's got it. She's like, she's she's not saying that she didn't smash a window, or pretending that she didn't. She's like, you know, uh, promoting Extinction Rebellion through various um, public acts, which has been filmed. She's not saying that she's not pretending she's not doing. You know, is that debatable? What is reasonable force? What is reasonable? What is a, a, a reasonable um, advertise? What well, you know? What is a requisite advertisement? You know, if you like taking that a bit too far, that advertisement. You know, is that a bit extreme, smashing a window to get attention to the cause. You know, well, that's you know, you know, de depending on what what we think proportionate. They like the word proportionate or not? That proportionate's debatable proportionate is, um, you know, measurable or depending on what person, you know, it's proportionate to one person but not another. But for the right to petition, it says all prosecutions are illegal. So, you know, uh, Bra Gail Bradbrook has got more of a legal argument on, on, of that falling under a, a representation to the public, um, theatrical representation, um, than Lord Hangfield as of saying that, you know, oh, I committed fraud because it's required, you know, it, it's not, um, you know, it, 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 it's, it, you don't, you're not, you, there's nothing in the House of Lords procedure that says, oh, like, you know, um, you, you, you know, the, the truth is negotiable or reasonable. Although when we look at Hansard, it turns out that there's loads of falsities and lies all through Hansard anyway, you know, we'll start pulling them on that, you know. Now, now that 
maybe all those lies in Hansard and frauds in Hansard, um, you know, who's going to prosecute those? Are those misdemeanors, frauds, falsities under the parliament, you know? Um, that That's probably a good question, you know? That is a good question. Um or would they want to ch ch take him to the Supreme Court with a whole lot, you know? Uh, why does institute law say that for great offices, for great crimes, have to be prosecuted in Parliament, you know? Um, but I, 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 I don't... It doesn't say that they can't be prosecuted in the courts, actually, when you look at it. It just says that the privilege protects them from the punishment or sentence, but I think they can still be prosecuted, and that's the difference. And I think what I I think that in this paper he's trying to be persuasive that you know he's going like oh you know I'm not intervening and there's you know we're not necessarily saying there's nothing preventing these proceedings going ahead and blah 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 etc. He's been all silky and smooth, right? But um, you know, so is he just trying to persuade, be persuasive? But that that's the thing. You know, he, he hasn't mentioned or brought up the Charter of Liberties uh, to do with um, lords, you know, answering to people. And and, and he, he actually doesn't, I don't think he draws that much attention to the actual act or offence or whether there is or not is any, even if it was in the business of Parliament uh, or not, um, is it, you know, is it in line? It is, is a fraud and a lie and a falsity in line with any type of work, Um you know, even in, whether it's policing, whether it's in um, petitioning, whether it's in parliament or government or in any business, um, you know, um, it, 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 I think that's the thing with misdemeanors, you know. And I think there's the borderline between there are things that definitely don't have, they're not permissible, right? And then there's things that are permissible and then there's things that depending on um, it, it's kind of like negotiable. I don't think that that Lord Hinefield stuff falls into negotiable whether or not it's a proportionate response or not or any form of um, sort of... It, it, it's not, it's non-negotiable. It, it, but this is the thing with the Extinction Rebellion prosecutions, that they're, they're wanting to try and get them to defend themselves and justify their actions, but you, you don't actually... It, it, the, 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 when they when they end up justifying their actions, it, 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 they're doing it in defence against a, a, a charge, but it, it's not defence against a charge when you're putting a rights claim down because you're saying that um, this was required for what I'm doing, and, and, and none of them have said that. They just start going on about the cause, and the cause is the thing that they're not supposed to be able to decide in the courts. The cause is the thing that the, the only Parliament can supposed to be decide on. And that's the thing with Hanningfield. Jeremy Johnson was saying that, you know, the affairs of Hanningfield was under Parliament's jurisdiction, but no one's saying that the decision on, you know, whether we're going to save the environment or not it is Parliament's decision, not the courts, when it comes to Extinction Rebellion. And, and I think that's, that is that is one of the important um, things about it, which which, which is, 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 is currently being done wrong.